This assignment is going to be for peer assignment 8, where we're going to create a class, an object. Um, and it's going to be for a card. Uh, we're going to make a card thing. Now a class is basically... It'll take a while to explain, and maybe I should. But let's look real quickly back on uh, home. And I believe there are some connections. Well, we should have some connections on objects. Uh, but an object is a, the next thing that happens after breaking up a program into functions. The next step programming history-wise is to create objects that are collections of related functions, functions that all relate to one thing. It's an attempt to make complicated programming easier. Um, so let's go, we'll create this card one and I'll explain as we go. So I have a uh, idle up and I'm going to give it a comment. Um, this class represents a playing card. Okay, and it will contain a number and a suit. Okay, so we'll do a little bit more with this. I'm going to end the comment for now. A class always starts with class, right? It's like a function starts with def, class starts with that. I'm going to call the class card, and classes are capitalized by default. We'll do a colon here because it is a block. Now, I am going to do a uh, special function here. Two, un oops, two underscores, I-N-I-T, underscore, underscore, and then we're going to put self and rank and suit. All right, so these things will be brought into the function. I and I is the initialization of the class. It's what other languages call constructors. You don't have to have that, but if you want to set some values right at the beginning, this is how you do it. Now, in the self is what tells the class what belongs to the class as opposed to what is just a temporary variable. So I'm going to self, self rank equals rank. So the internal value for rank is whatever gets passed in with the initialization. And the suit, uh, self suit equals suit. Okay, so we have those, and I'm going to do um, a value too, because the value is dependent not just on the rank, but on the the thing. So I'm going to say it equals zero at this point. The value comes in because there are 13 cards in a suit, but the top 10 through 13 all equal 10 as a value if you're playing a game. So notice this one wasn't passed in, but we can still do initializations in this initial things. So I'm going to do um, something that would allow us to return the suit. There are, in classes, there's usually gets and sets. To some extent, these are doing the setting. But if you wanted to get the value back out, you do a get suit, and you would do return self.suit. Right? And if we want to get the rank, we can do the same thing. It's just a little method to return a value from the class. Okay, and then I'm going to do a thing that sets the value. I'm going to call it set value. And anything that has a self in front of it, you can see in the class. They're global, basically. They can be seen in any method. So I'm going to say if self rank um, is greater than 10. 
because 10, 10 is 10. So remember, an if is a block inside of here. I'm going to say that the self um, value equals 10. And then I'm going to do an else, because if it's not equal to 10, then the um, self value equals self rank. So if the rank is a 9, then it'll be a 9, right? Okay, and then we're going to return a value from here. We're going to return, not sure we have to, but I'm going to do return self value. Okay, so then I'm going to do another function that gets the suit. We are going to enter the suit as a, a just a letter. That's what the chapter says to do. Oh, each of these mistake I often make each of these needs to have the self in the arguments to say that they belong to pass through the things that belong to the the class all right so I'm going to say self uh, I'm gonna call it s for suit is equal to an empty string initially. And then I'm going to say if self suit equals D, uh, okay, then we'll say that self S equals diamonds. could capitalize that if you want. And then I'm going to do LF self suit equals uh, H. Self S equals uh, hearts. Okay, and then LF uh, self suit typing is not my strong suit equals let's do C um, need a colon there self S equals clubs. And then we need an else, because there's only one more possibility. And we'll say um, self suit, actually self s equals uh, spades. OK. And then we're going to return self.s. So we have the suit. And I'm going to do one more thing. So I'm going to um, do a to string. Again, two underscores, str, double underscore, and self. This is what will, if you print the class, this is what will come out. So we'll do this. I'm going to say if self rank greater than one and self rank less than 11. Okay, so we're testing to see if it's that. Then the self name is equal to the string of self rank all right plus 
and I'm going to do of plus self get suit. Okay, so it's, it'll be like if it's a three, it'll be the three of hearts, three of spades, etc., like that. Okay, and I'm going to do this again with um, if self rank equal one. All right, self name equals the ace of plus um, self get suit. That needs to be a single quote if the other one's a single quote. All right. So we have a couple of other possibilities. If self rank equal 11, uh, self name equals um, the jack of plus self get suit. Keep doing that thing with the Okay, and we're almost done with this class. I'm going to say, so we got 12 and 13. If self rank equal 13, or equal 12, self name equals the queen of self get suit and I did it again all right one last one if self rank equals 13 self name equals the king of self get suit and then we want to return the name okay so this is our class let's walk through it again real quickly this is the initialization, right? So let me comment that. Class initialization. Initialization. Okay. Pass in initial pass in and set initial values. Okay. This allows you to get the value. So this would be get rank value. I'm going to call it set the plane value of card. Convert suit letter to name. And this would be a return a string with the name of the card. Okay, so I'm going to save this.
file, save as. So I'm going to go to documents, Python files, and I'm going to name this just card. Oops. So we are going to test this um, with the in interactive. Later I'll show you how to do make a class call a class. I mean, we could call it from main, but I'm just going to do this interactively. So one of the first things I have to do is from card import card. I have to import the class. Whoa. Didn't I name it card? Python. Oh, that's it. Wrong one. There is a card pie. It should work. Um, I'm going to add a file to this, which sometimes you need to have. So I'm going to do a new I want a new file. Or actually, I may just go get it from. You need to have a file. I think that it sometimes requires. So I'm going to go here to Python programs and we need an I and I pi. I'm just going to copy it. There's nothing in it. This is literally an empty file. Notice it has zero bytes, but it requires that in order to be able to load other files. So let's go back to documents, Python programs, I'm going to paste. And let's see if it'll import now. From card, import card. Ah, it still doesn't like it. No module named card. might need the whole yeah so we've saved that I think it may not be in the right directory should work though. So let's get the path. I don't need the system path. I just want this to do. All right, screw it. We'll just do We won't do it interactively. I'll just do a new file. And I will say from card import card okay and then I'm going to do it I'm just going to do a def main in which to do all of this 
I am going to um, create a new card. So one of the things I'll do is I'll just do C equals card. And I need to pass in the, the rank, which let's make it a an 11 uh, and a suit, which we will do as a H. So it should be like the queen of hearts. So first of all, I'm going to do print C. All right, so that's printing the card. And then down here, I'll just do uh, main. We'll save this file. Save as. We'll go to the right document. It is in the right place. And we'll call it a test card. So we're going to test the card. So now I'll run it. Ah, uh, what is it not like? Still doesn't like from card import card. Why is it not importing? It's card.py. And it has class card in there. That should work just fine. I'm going to run it. I'm going to look at that other one, the error one last time. So we'll run this. Oh, there's an error in card at line 18. which is going to be hard to do. One, two, three. Get rank value. Ah, see that? There is a little, no. There was a one character, a stray character over there. I think the interactive will work now too. So let's try it. From card, import card. Uh, still doesn't like it. I have a period after rank. I do indeed. File, save. I'm going to kill this. I'm going to bring up a new one. Don't you like have all the troubleshooting here? It's good though. Everybody makes typos. From card, import card. Still doesn't find it. This time it just doesn't find it. There's no errors in it. Um, if I run this one, now it says there's an error in, oh, there is. These need to be double equals because they're equalities. I 
think I did that elsewhere where it was okay. But I did double equals down here. File save. Let's go back. Try running it again. Another error. Self rank equal 11. Oh, I thought I did a left then. Let's look at the card again. For some reason my left less than isn't there. File, save. One of these days it will go. I'm going to kill this. Run module yay it's the jack of hearts all right so a couple of other things that i want to do is just show you the gets so let's do um, print c get rank we'll add that save run and it gives us 11 and the same would happen with the with the get value since it's a value of 10, 11 let's do that though c get value and we'll save and we'll run it again Oh, uh, didn't I call it get value? Set value. Save and run. See, it has a rank of 11, but a value of 10 as the jack of hearts. All right. Enough for that. This is the end of this video with all of its wandering around.